All right, holding my keyboard as all normal, insane people do. And the lookup function done. Yo! Yo, why did I get that error value though? What? Man, it must be the keyboard. No, it's not the keyboard. All right, so let's say the leftmost column that you're trying to look up values in contains ID numbers, right? You went ahead and entered the numeric value one to return the age of the person that is employee ID one in your table. Sometimes completely out of your control, the values in the table are in the text format as opposed to the number format, or vice versa. Let's say the lookup value that you entered for your VLOOKUP function, you entered one in the text format as opposed to a number format. Now there's two approaches you can use to solve this problem. The first approach would be to edit the table. So what you would have to do is select the entire column of ID values that are stored as text and go ahead and convert those into numbers. So now your VLOOKUP function knows, hey, I'm looking up this numeric value in this column with numeric values. And so it's able to find the match, it's able to return the value, no more error message, you're good. Now the other approach you might consider taking, and it really depends whether or not you need this column to absolutely be stored as a number value. In your VLOOKUP function, let's say your lookup column is again, numbers stored as text, and you entered a number into your VLOOKUP function, and you're getting the error message. What you can do is add quotes on the outside of the number in your VLOOKUP function, and voila, no more error. It's able to find it because it's looking for the value one stored as a text format in the column of numbers stored as text formats. Now you're good, no more smashing keyboards, buying new keyboards. Now if that's not the reason you got the error message, some other possibilities might be that you did enter the parameters incorrectly, in which I would advise you have someone else do a quality check of your work. With that being said, now that you've fixed your VLOOKUP error, you probably want to learn more about advanced techniques using the VLOOKUP function in Excel. If that's the case, click this video right here in the upper right corner. Otherwise, if you want to watch another video regarding Excel or any other videos on my channel, go ahead and click in this corner right here. And we're done.